a biscuit. A little mare. I wouldn't know how she's bred. I think she's bred out of a cob. Um, maybe a common bred cob, hairy leg cob maybe. Got with uh, a lighter horse, possibly acne, something like that. Got a nice bit of action in the front. But what she's here for is, in my opinion, it's very awkward to say you don't want to condemn anybody or anything like that or take it the wrong way, but what I think is this this little, uh, little girl's got a bit too full of herself. She's not been disciplined and kept there. Now, discipline, I've said a load of times, is a dirty word in this day and age, but... We all have to have discipline. You have to discipline yourself to get up and go to work. You know, look after yourself, keep yourself clean, keep your house clean. All them things are discipline. Well, also, if we're going to take them out of their wild environment, and I don't mean a field, I mean where they could walk 100 mile this way and 100 mile that way, and the only things that would stop them would be a swamp, a mountain or a river, um, and a desert, I suppose. The only thing that would control their boundaries if you're going to take them out of that environment, what we have to do is to come on, back, is to give them some boundaries in which to live. Yeah. So first and foremost, you've got to be kind. You've got to attempt to understand them. It's taken me a lifetime, and to get where I am now, I'd like another lifetime to get better at the job because. The more you do it, the more re you realise how little you know. So anyway, the pony was was a fidget, wouldn't stand still. Um, it wasn't good in traffic, etc. Now, the, in my opinion, if the pony had had uh, a little bit of discipline, and when it done something, the very first time it didn't do something that it was asked to do, they say it was, they will say it was frightened of a bag on the side of the road, you know, dustbin or something like that. Then what you need to do is to turn around and go back past the dustbin. You need to go and walk them up to the dustbin. You need to let them face anything that comes along in a controlled manner. Now, I do it for a living all the time. A lot of the problem is, you know, with this, with this pony already being broke and already being driven, and they've allowed it, in my opinion, to, it, not, it didn't have any guidelines to work to. It didn't have any, okay, get on with your job. You don't hear me shouting and screaming at them or whacking them with a whip. If I just say to her now, baby, come on, pick it up, trot on. She'll go on now, if I say to her, steady, steady, my darling, just walk. Be a very light contact. Steady. And she'll walk down. All she's got is a piece of rubber in her mouth. So you've got this pickup truck coming on with a big old ladder up the front. See, that looks a bit strange to us. Makes us we look, don't we? What's that on there? So why shouldn't they? So we just come up here like this. And it can see it. Like that, love. And it'll walk along here. It, you know, we can turn it round the road. Everything about it is good. What they've got to do is keep it there. So this has taken a long while to get the pony to respect me. Now there's a big truck coming up here now. It's going to take half the road up at least. If you look at the wing mirrors on this truck or door mirrors on this truck, it should be nine foot wide. And I'm waving it on, telling him not to worry, just come on by, you know? So there's a big eight wheeler tipper. And we'll just go like that, bring it over there, make some noise, and not a murmur. Now they say it was frightened of traffic, it, you know, dive off here and like that and that bits and pieces. So, they are its sort of issues. Well, it's perfectly happy. I've got it there. You know, Re, who works with me, can do exactly the same thing I can do. She could be on the road, only that I'm bad on the camera. I don't get that right. I keep getting told off for that, so. <laughs> so that's the reason I'm driving. Otherwise, Re would be driving it. You know, it's not a problem. And she'd drive it anywhere I would. And the pony's, you know, 100% safe. As much as a pony ever can be. I mean, they're, they're a living thing, you know, you've got to do... You've got to do what you've got to do. So, I mean, no rain on it, very slack, just walk along. When I ask it to trot, it'll trot. You know, 
lovely. But what we've done is you've got to have discipline with kindness. So discipline is very, very simple really. So you get the pony to stand still and walk to the end of your lead rope without it moving, yeah? That's discipline. That proves two things, it's listening to you and it's doing what you asked. Simple. But people don't seem to grasp that. Now, the other problem you've got with people, sometimes this pony might be driven, well, let, I'm not talking this pony, ponies in general, horses in general, might be driven once a week, twice a week, which is fine. But you must finish every drive that you do on a good note. So if you encounter a problem, whatever it might be, you know, as I say, something on the side of the road, whatever you might encounter, um, whatever you might encounter, you've got to deal with it. So if, if, this, if this pony now, for instance, looks at something, what we look at it, we see something along the side of the road and look, think, what's that? You know, um, something strange on a lorry you know, a flapping sheet or whatever, we look at that and say, oh, what's that? why shouldn't the pony look at it? What the pony's got to do is look at it, but have the confidence. Now, down here, for instance, I can see way in the distance there, there's a rag caught up in a bush or a paper bag or something. Now, that's going to flap about if we, we haven't got any breeze today, but when a vehicle goes by, like that one just did, it flapped about. So if we're lucky enough to get a vehicle coming past as we approach it, this pony might, well look, there's another one here, it's rubbish, people throw out or come off of a truck, the piece here. You watch when it goes past, it's just about to go past, round about now, you see it flop about, look, in the breeze that's created, I'm going to put it on there, get up, I want to get near it, so this car's there, so it's moving a bit in the breeze, look, that's lovely, right? Now, see the pony's ears prick, it's looking at it, yeah? Now I ain't going to force it, I'm not going to reach it. I'm going to say, all right, mate, come on, that's all right, on you go. You see that? Straight past, straight line. Has not gone across the road. And the reason for that, I've not smacked it or geared up there, shouted at it, pulled its head off. It's got a soft rubber bit in, and there it is going past something that would startle another horse. Yeah? And all you've got to do is, I'm going to do a series of films, I think, on this discipline. Um, Reeves was thinking of doing that, you know, a series of films if people would like it. And we'll talk about discipline and how to start a pony, and even a pony that's already broke down and driving like this one, how you can bring it back and get it much, much better than what it is. The other problem is, or the advantage we have, certainly when it comes to training, we do it every day, and we can devote to each individual. It might only be a 20 minute lesson. Next day it might be a three hour one. You just don't know. But we can do as you quiet because we're here all day. Now when people have got a job to do and it's winter time, when do you get the time to do it? That's the problem. So, this pony now, I would drive it through the middle of London, it wouldn't bother me at all. It will stop when I tell it, even a big heavy lorry coming past or coming towards it, it would stand still while it comes. This one with a motorbike, look, or oh no, noisy car, sounded like a motorbike. Another one, yeah. So, no, no problem at all, is there? It's not upset, is what I'm saying. It's not terrified. We don't want it to be terrified, do we? We want it just to be happy. Come on, darling. Come on, baby. Yes, I let him just trip along like that. You never hear me shouting, screaming. You'd never see the whip in me hand. You know, why would I do it? People say to me, well, you hit them with the reins. That's very crude, Mr. Hook. That's not how to drive horse. Well, let me tell you something. These horses are in training. An entirely different thing. Now, we just went over a loose manhole there. A loose manhole. So there's someone coming past like a lunatic. Um, we've got Rhea on the back looking at the traffic.
and he's come past right in front of another car coming the other way. Well, that's not my fault. If I was a, you know, a car broke down on the side of the road. If I was a car broke down on the side of the road with a puncher or whatever, um, people would still behave in the same way. It's nothing to do with the horses on the public highway. We don't hold anything up because we constantly, you know, giving them room to come past. I don't wave them on because, you know, it's their decision whether to come past or not. But I keep over as tight as I can when I can hear a car behind. But just see the way this pony behaves, no problem at all, you know. Just wherever I put it on the road. Come on, darling. Up you go. Come on. There's my sweetheart. Up you go. So it's a willing little pony, real nice, kind little pony. But it was a bit nippy. It was, you know, when it first arrived, it'd bite you. You know, give a nip, it wouldn't really bite you. That'd be wrong to say that. But it would give a little nip. Um, come on. It would push you with its head. It would, uh, when you try to put the bridle on, it would want the bridle on. Anything you want to do with it, it had another idea, had its own agenda. So what you've got to do is conjole it, kid it, persuade it to do what you want with kindness but firmness. Once you establish that, then you get a happy little pony because it knows the boundaries, it's like a child. Walk. Steady, steady. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe Confident horse that's had